Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Nomadic Blitzman here. So this week's bushcraft challenge, week four, we have is all about pot hangers. So there's a few different pot hangers that I made that I have set up here in my garage. So uh, we'll go through these. Disclaimer: I'm not going to be doing any cooking today. It's mostly for demonstration purposes, educational purposes, and you'll get the general idea of a few of these pot hangers, how they work. How you can make them. So, yeah, let's jump right to it. So, number one, I have a one notch and one fork branch. I have it right here set up. So this is just basically a pot hanger notch and um, a branch here. Very simple system, works good. Then I have it set up on another branch that has a uh, flat head screwdriver and then goes down. You could plant it in the ground in the bush. I have it set up here with a few logs. So that's number one. Number two, I got this guy right here, which is the same idea. You have your pot hanger notch, but uh, we needed to make three notches for uh, this one. And then we need two fork branches to go on each side. So I'll put it on here. And then let's see if I can put a second pot as well. It's kind of bit too heavy for the setup that I got here for two pots but you get the general general idea pop here is a little lighter weight after a general idea you want it to be really solid in the ground if you're going to put two pots that's a lot of weight or have like a bigger bigger branch so that was number two this one's about full this one's about half full Number three, quite the system. Everything, like, there's a lot of easier ways to build these, but this challenge is really to make us work our uh, carving skills, make us work on knife skills. So, this is a dovetail notch. It goes one in the other, and then it forms a Z, right? Or an S, I guess. So you can see they're nice and solid. There's no movement in there. Dovetail. Alright, so number four is the tripod of the adjustable system. So I did a slide knot for that one back here. We'll go there. All right, so for the tripod system, what I did is I grabbed the branch with the fork here, and I made a uh, square hole here to get my uh, cordage through. And then I made a sliding knot so that I can move it up. And I can move it down, so this is the same knot that you would use on a tarp to set, set up a tarp, like uh, tighten up your ridge line. So I can go on the ground, I can go up, and it's nice and solid. I really like the tripod because this one you can use um, like on like a solid ground, like a like if the ground's frozen, it's still good. You don't have to plant it in the ground. Like here I want cement, but it still works good, right? That's the other systems I'm having a hard time to demonstrate. And then 
very adjustable. You can adjust up and down like that, and then you can move the legs around, right? And that adjusts it as well. So that's that. I just want to demo the dovetail notch as well would work. The pot hanger would work in this kind of system. Show you guys the the knot, how to make it real quick. Uh, so it's a simple ridge line knot. So you come around your cord, and then you'll do two loops on the inside. And come back out and do one loop on the outside. I learned this one from watching Joe Robinette's videos. He does it quite a bit for his ridge lines. And it works good for the pot hanger too. And you want to tighten it. And then there you go. Okay, so the okay, so the other thing we had to do for the challenge is this bad boy right here. So basically, this is a fork branch with a fork on the one fork, and then on the other side, I had to diminish it or basically remove some wood, and then do a loop and then tie it off back here. Now I had some splitting going on, it didn't go thin enough. So I tied it off to kind of prevent it from splitting out more. This is the first one that I did and I wasn't too, too happy with it because of the splitting. So I did, but it works. So I did a second one. This one was made with willow. This one here is made with birch. Birch bent a little bit better, but it split as well. Eh? But they're still functional as all both are functional so I'll show you back here on this pole so this would go like on a tree or something that would be planted in the ground so for demo purposes I'll just pass it through this pole I'll actually put them both on at the same time better when you actually have some weight on there. Okay, so there's the birch one with a heavy pot. You see where you go with this idea is that it can turn around like that. from the, the weight of the pot that makes it hold high. Now this here is the willow one. The willow one works better because the, uh, the fork here goes lower while well, as this one is kind of a too, too close together. But this one works really good. Let me get rid of this perch. Now this, again, is over-engineered, I mean, it's kind of a good project to do, but, yeah. Ok, 
Okay, now the next one that we had to do for the uh, challenge was our own pot hanger of our own, like whatever we use or like to use. I usually just use like snare wire um, or like the tripod or the, uh, the other rigs basically that we already showed in the video. So I did a bit of research and uh, found something that I had never built before and I thought was interesting. So uh, that's what I built right here. This, uh, it's not this, it's this system here. But uh, this I had done previously, uh, but it's not necessary. Like you can, to have this, you can have your pot right here. But I uh, just wanted to show you guys just a birch that's twisted around. But let me go grab a pot and I'll show you how this one works. Okay. So I did three notches here so I can put different pots from different distances to the fire. It works pretty good. Got my two pots. Pretty heavy, both have water in. And uh, it's holding this would be planted in the ground. I just have it planted in my uh, big log, big, uh, yeah, big log. But this will be planted in the ground. Now you're probably wondering, how does this work? How does this slide up and down? So I'll just change the camera angle and show you. But it's basically a uh, move it around. It's better not to have the pots. But it's basically a dovetail or dovetail notch. And it comes around like that. And this piece has this shape. So it'll go in, just pull this up, I got it nice and, nice and tight, so. Yeah, so I got my notch like that, and it slides right in here, and then it can Go up and go down. Yeah, so it's a pretty cool little system. I hope this works for the purpose of the challenge, Dwayne. Dwayne's the, the one doing the challenge. So yeah, different system. And then the last thing that we needed to do is this uh, blow poke or uh, blow pipe. So, yeah, try to blow some, some of this stuff away to show that it works. Yeah, hole goes in and it goes out. I just did use quite a bit of cordage to do it, but uh, quite honestly, I think it'd be more effective just to Use your hat to give some uh, air to your or oxygen to your fire. Use your hat or like a sit pad or something like that. But eh, it's a cool project. So there you have it. All right, guys. There you have it. That'll be a quick video for week number four of the bushcraft challenge. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, I have just a review. I have my number one. Fork stitch with one notch, then I have the adjustable three notch, three pot hanger notches with the two forks at the bottom, the two branched fork thing. I have the dovetail that goes in and then goes out. That can be assembled, disassembled, and this 
smaller to carry around, but it's a lot of work to do, but this one was actually super fun, um, practicing like knife skills. But something simple like this one works. It does pretty much the same job. And then after that, number four, we had our tripod with the adjustable system, and right here. And then number five, my weird Y stick that can go in and out. And our own pot hanger. You just dovetail notch. down and the blow pipe that's longer than eight inches just show a quick measurement quick measurement mine has 12 inches so longer than eight inches there you have it hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys for next week week Number five, the 12 week bushcraft challenge. So, all right, cheers. <laughs>